Like even when I'm playing it right now, I don't feel let down by by the experience I'm having. Like everything looks good, everything tracks well. I find it comfortable with my Bobo uh, aftermarket head strap, expanded battery. Like I really like this headset. And I'm looking forward to Quest 3 because I think it's going to be this, but a lot better. Wow. That's going to be fun. That thing's super loud. And like my tack vest, like the whole thing vibrated when I fired. This thing is a serious kick. I even bought the cheap bullets. Uh, which I'm sure it's exact same kick, right? Welcome back. I am a friendly pest. Today I'm playing Into the Radius. Uh, not even sure what mods are working, to be honest. I'm playing on an Oculus Quest 2, streaming this from my PC over virtual desktop, and using my B-Haptics, uh, Tax X16 vest, whatever it is. Um, hadn't played this in a long time, haven't played anything in quite a while, so I thought I would talk about some of that stuff and check out the new update. Because, this is update 2.7. Shine some light on that. Added a revolver to the game, which is pretty cool. Seems to me, I messed with it just for a minute. You have to add the bullets one at a time. So I've got like a little pile of bullets there in my bag. Uh, don't know if there's a better way to go about that. Probably put them down in this pouch. Let's try that. It's not really working. There we go. So, put a nice pile of bullets right there. That'll work, and we'll be able to draw them out of there. Um, if I haven't played this in a while, it's been nagging at me a little bit. Uh, kind of wanting to play it. Look at this mess. Look at this. I think this save was uh, when I beat Stalker Mod, and there's been several updates since then. So, like, stuff's missing and everything's floating where I left it. All the crap I had collected to get through that save. Uh, there's stuff that was still in the Christmas tree and the Christmas tree's gone. When I look in the menus, it talks about uh, stalker mod settings instead of scavenger mod settings. So I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea what mods are working and what mods are not working. So we're gonna go out there and find out. Test out this revolver. Have us a little bit of a day. Um... Just in the mood to step around in here for a little bit and see how it goes. Play with this revolver. Right now the revolver is the only thing I'm taking. Uh, just because I want to force myself to use it. So revolver, knife. Um, hey look, I forgot I did that. Yeah. Also, uh, I installed a mod to have a better helmet. Instead I got this one. I'm not wearing this. Like this is, you can't see anything out of this thing. So I'm not going to wear that today. Uh, and I just put on like one of these janked up vests. It's in terrible condition. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna try out this new mod. Hopefully you guys are having a good week. Uh, plan to put this up on Monday, which is not my normal radius flop, but I haven't played radius in a while. Why not? Uh, I haven't put up a video in like two weeks. I've just been really busy. Uh, fall's my favorite season. I'll go ahead and get this out of the way a little bit. Fall's my favorite season. The weather's finally kicked. Uh, I'm recommitted to that marathon attempt in November, so I'm running 15 miles a week. I start fishing again. I bought a canoe. I've been canoeing like at least once a week. I've just been doing a lot, and I haven't had time to create videos. So I apologize uh, to those of you that do show up and watch me when I upload. I uh, really appreciate you guys. I feel like I've let you down some by taking this little break. So. Uh, I do apologize for that, but I'm back today, so let's go, let's go, have us a look around. It's supposed to be all kinds of stuff tweaked in this mod, or this uh, update rather, update 2.7. I think it is the last update for this... No for... mission detected. I don't care, I'm going to explore, leave me alone. Um, 
I don't think it's going to get any more, you know, major content updates. I think they're focusing on the next game. It's been a while. It has been a while. I'm glad that the I'm glad that they're working on the next version of this game. Radius 2. I hope it's amazing. I hope it has multiplayer. Can't wait. Speaking of hoping things will be amazing, I pre-ordered the Quest 3 and I'm stoked about that. So I'm going to do some comparisons on that. Talk about my thoughts. I'll give you guys good, honest opinions on that device when I get it. Hey, let's listen to this. We haven't heard this in a while. Attention. This is UNPSC Emergency Guidance Recording L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of I'm not going to lie. It feels really good to be back in here. Uh, they just nailed so many things about this game that I've been trying a lot of different games. And I've been really kind of let down. Like I haven't found anything to capture my, my interest, my imagination, the way this has. Now that horror game I've been playing... Uh, Lies Beneath, I think it's called. That's pretty good. I will probably continue playing that. Because I, I think I'm, you know, past the halfway point. We keep pushing on that. I think that's a good game. Genuinely, I do. And I, I have a relatively good time when I play it, though I stress a lot. But there hasn't really been anything that I liked as much as this game. So I'm looking forward to... I'm looking forward to what they make next. Another Radius game, hopefully with multiplayer. That would really do it for me. That would be so good. Um, I briefly brought up Quest 3 and then completely forgot to talk about it. I am super excited for that headset. Because my Quest 2, other than like janky software updates and stuff, I have been very happy with this headset. Like even when I'm playing it right now, I don't feel let down by by the experience I'm having. Like everything looks good, everything tracks well. I find it comfortable with my Bobo uh, aftermarket head strap, expanded battery. Like I really like this headset, and I'm looking forward to Quest Three because I think it's going to be this, but a lot better. Wow. That's gonna be fun. That thing's super loud. And like my tack vest, like the whole thing vibrated when I fired. This thing is serious kick. I even bought the cheap bullets, uh, which I'm sure it's exact same kick, right? I tried to install some mods. Let's, let's stay on one subject at a time. I'm not good at that, but let's try. What am I looking forward to most about Quest 3? Honestly, the wider FOV and the comfort, because I use the glasses spacer, even though I don't wear glasses. So because you can adjust the depth on the face interface with Quest 3, I should be able to dial it in. So even though the Quest 3's field of view is only slightly better than Quest 2, because I'll be able to calibrate it, I should have a significantly improved field of view, which will improve immersion. Stoked, right? I tried to thumbs up, but I, I can't thumbs up. I apologize. There's no thumbing. Um, stoked about that. The fact it's thinner on my face, the weight will be closer in, more comfortable. Looking forward to that. The pancake optics are supposed to increase uh, the sweet spot, so to speak, when everything's sharp, the direction you're looking, that's supposed to be better, and then they're supposed to be a lot clearer. Now, these look great that I'm using right now. These look great. So, we'll see. Like, maybe I don't know what I'm missing. Maybe I'm really going to be impressed by those new optics. Also, no tracking rings. So, when I'm reloading and stuff, no banging my controllers together as much. Really excited about that to see how well those track. Like, I think the device is super exciting. The graphical comparisons they've showed between same games, right? Quest 2 to Quest 3. It's, it's a huge leap in performance, apparently, which is exciting. Come out of there. 
Now I do most of my, uh... Why are you just standing there creaking? Holy crap! Hmm. Ha! Huh. That's funny, because I didn't load it completely. Oh, you can spin it. You could, you could rush and roulette this thing. Uh, because I didn't load it completely when I pulled the trigger, I didn't understand why it uh, didn't immediately fire. It didn't. It's, it apparently these cheap bullets, or maybe this was just a durable mop. That was not very like effective as far as how you want something to kill something. But like outside of that, it's a very cool weapon. I'm glad they added it. Oh look, another cassette that I won't listen to. So yeah, quest three stoked now. Back on, back on, let's focus, focus. Uh, I do mostly PC VR. So, the fact that it's significantly more powerful than Quest 2, hmm, you know what I mean? Is that really a selling point for a person like me that uses mostly uh, PC VR? Maybe, maybe if it's performant enough that I don't really feel like it's a big letdown to not be using my PC, then I'll be content with more standalone experiences, right? Oh, my old friend. Let's go. And at least in the examples they showcased, it certainly looks uh, very good. Very good. We'll see. We'll see. Oh man, we're just doing great today. Let's talk about the mods I installed, because I think I brought that up and didn't complete my thoughts on it. I tried to reinstall Scavenger Mod, but leave the store functional. That way I would be able to find better loot in the field. Um, but also not fight the stalker mobs. And I believe... I have no idea, to be honest. I have no idea. I can't remember right now. That looks like a commando. I don't think there's supposed to be commandos in this zone. My guess is that the, uh, despite the fact that I clicked to disable on the stalker mod, I think it's still on. So I have to be a little careful. This zone is not that safe. It's okay. We're just here to check out the new update, have a good time, talk about things, stuff and things. It does feel good to be back. For some reason, this game... It's almost like I'm supposed to play it. Like, it's like when I play other things... I, I don't feel like my content hits like it's supposed to hit. I mean, it, the views obviously, if I play something besides Radius, the views are obviously much lower. But I mean, the pacing of this game meshes so well with the way I like to talk about things. I feel like when I don't play this game, I, I'm not myself exactly. Somebody's over this wall. There you go, friend. Probably gonna die. Oh, cool, you still get stuck. Yeah. Alright. My arms are really tired because I just got home from the gym. Guy in the distance didn't aggro. That's a surprise.
really feel like I was aiming decent. Oh, come on. Dear devs, one more update, please. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. more ammo in here. Okay. Revolver fun. Revolver fun. Need to get like a laser sight. Maybe I can put some optics on it or something. We'll sell that. Even the stupid newbie zone. This game's just good. It's a... About to get busy around here. Yeah. Pretty difficult to grab bullets and uh, stuff them in here while you're running. Which brings me back to quest three. I'm just as scattered as I've ever been. Apparently they're gonna add kind of upper body and arm tracking based on the camera positions. Though with no accessory, you'll have some of that. And you're just like, what do I care about that? Oh, when you reach for your inventory and your torso isn't where it should be because your body is rotated and the game can't guess that, that'll fix that problem if devs choose to use it. So, you'll more reliably be able to grab things, which is a super exciting feature of the Quest 3. Let's try to get this other commando. This thing doesn't hit very hard. That's surprising. But I've got the... It could just be Stalker mod. Like, I need to be aiming for the head, and I'm, I'm aiming for the body. Because, I mean, the iron sights are okay. But I've not played with it at the range to kind of know... It, guns are different, right? Depending what you're using. I, I had a pistol in real life. You kind of had to cover the target with the iron sights. And then at another pistol, where you kind of had to put the sight underneath your target just a little bit. So I haven't really experimented with this to know if it works that way. And maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. I don't know. All right, pal. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Get some, baby. Get some. Why aren't other games as good as this one? Like, I've got so many hours. I've got hundreds of hours in this game. And it's been out for a long time. Why aren't there any other games that scratch this itch like this does? And there's not. This game is easily one of the best VR experiences you can play. Okay. My arms are shaking though. Haven't been to the gym a very long time. I got myself a membership, so uh, I don't know if you follow Spike from the My Name Is Spike YouTube channel. He puts out content. He's been putting out content pretty regularly, and we should all be proud of them for that, because used to, you were lucky to get a video out of Spike once every six weeks, but lately, Spike's putting out the content, and that's great. But, that's not why I'm talking about Spike right now. Um, Spike goes to a gym, and he puts out these little motivational videos of himself walking to the gym, talking about what's on his mind on his way to the gym, and I like that, I appreciate that. So I got a gym membership, Spike. You inspire me. Uh, I'm going to work on not just my running, because I, I do run 15 plus miles a week right now, which I'm trying to get that number up as well. Uh, but I want to I want to work on the full... I want to look good with my shirt off, bro. That's what I want to do. Let's, uh, let's cut to the chase. I'm a super self-conscious person, and it would be amazing to be able to confidently take your shirt off and be like, yeah, any other questions? You know what I mean? That would be a really cool thing. Come here, Kiki. 
Really? That's weird. Wow, that was weird. Oh no. He one-shotted me. That's amazing. That's amazing. I went from full health to dead from a fragment that was already popped. That's... I don't even know. I'm gonna try to go get my stuff at least. That's crazy. I didn't expect that at all, as I, as I very confidently walked up to that thing. I was at full health, too, I think. Anyway. This is one of the more scattered episodes I've had, I apologize. It does feel good to be back. It feels good to be recording. I sat down several times with intentions to record, and kind of came up short, you know? Couldn't, couldn't find the spark in myself. Didn't have anything I wanted to talk about. Didn't have anything I wanted to play. What the? This is so weird. I don't know. Some weird stuff going on. My kingdom for a loot all button. Feel a little off, feel a little weird. It was fun to mess with the new update anyway. I almost need to start a new save. Like if I want to keep playing this. Because like this weird mesh of stalker mod and scavenger mod. Like I almost need to start a new save. Just vanilla it. Play it vanilla, use the revolver. Do like a I don't know, like a revolver only run or something for fun. Just for something to do. Just for something to do while we wait for radius 2, whatever they want to call it, into the diameter. Approaching the circumference. It was a fun day. I'm not going to push my luck too far because I do think I'm going to start a new save. Just step on these. Very important. Snuff those, otherwise a disaster might happen. That is the true backstory. Spoiler alert, somebody didn't step on their cigarette. Boom. Apocalypse. That's how it starts. Very small decision. Catastrophic domino effect. Everybody's dead. Step on your cigarette butts, kids. Very odd. Like, this is where I belong. I'm gonna start a new save next week. Maybe even Friday. Uh, I'm gonna start a new save, and we're gonna get a revolver, and we're gonna we're gonna play as far as we want to play with revolvers. Maybe we'll see what we decide to do. Tentatively, tentatively. This was a good update. The revolver is exactly what it should be. 
I'm glad that you have to load the bullets one at a time, even though it's difficult, especially when your torso doesn't track. Please, Quest 3, please, please. Um, but I'm glad that you don't just have like a single quick loader. You know what I mean? This is way more fun. And sometimes you gotta choose fun over practicality or effectiveness. You know what I mean? It's the way you gotta look at things. It was a good time. It was a good time. Good update. Good update. Might start a new save. It was fun to be back. Start a new save and maybe use like scavenger mod but with the store. So I'll still have some better field loot but I can still use the store. That could be fun. One of my old flashlights I used to leave laying around. Look at this. That's hilarious. Okay, we don't really have much to sell. We're gonna sell because that's what we're supposed to do. But uh, we don't have much to sell. <laughs> Alright, it's not going to be much, but if you've got a guess as to the value of these items, a number in your head, was that your number? Because that's a really, really sad number. Seven thousand. So I still had some decent money when I stopped playing. Okay, that was fun. That was fun. You got to come back somehow. You got to break the ice somehow. Uh, even if this video was scattered and everything was definitely a mess. By the way, uh, Pro Strat. This is how you organize your stuff. Every single object has a place, and it's in its place. That is how it's done. Even I'm a little uncomfortable with the state of things around here. Okay, let's sit down and think about this. What did we learn today? Uninstalling old mods and installing new mods. Sometimes you get both mods at the same time, so that wasn't good. Uh, I have to be a little more thorough when I start a new save. Could be the save that caused that. Let's snuff this before we accidentally cause a problem. Uh, but it is weird that that is not the helmet in the mod I installed. That's not the face mask mod I installed. And I installed Scavenger and Disabled Stalker, yet there were Stalker mods out there with Stalker voices. So, interesting. Uh, but maybe we can fix it with a new save. Start over. Play vanilla, maybe. I don't know. It'll be fun. Feels good to be back. Hopefully you guys are having a good week. Uh, if you want me to keep making these videos, let me know. If you'd like me to continue doing the other things I was doing, let me know. If you missed me, let me know. Uh, I missed this, I think. It's fun. It was a fun day. Revolver's fun. Good update. Good on them for releasing another update. Godspeed on the new game. Can't wait to try it out. Please consider me, as someone has loyally created very, very many in the radius videos, I would love a chance to try the new game. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to its release. Let me know. Uh, and then uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as my Quest 3 arrives. Super stoked about that. Um, I'll do some comparisons there. Towards the end of this month, I'm going to do a half marathon. And then in November, I'm going to attempt the full marathon. So I'll talk about that stuff some. won't make real videos for it because... I don't know. I haven't, I haven't decided how I would record that exactly. It wouldn't be, you know, uh, I think that would be fun, but I don't know how I'd do it. So I probably won't. Anyway, anyway, to wrap this up. <sighs> Monday. So hopefully you're having a good week. Hopefully you're putting together some fun weekend plans. Hopefully you're spending your free time with the people you want to spend your free time with. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this tiny channel. Have a nice day.